Today's the day I talked about. We're gonna make fires. All the people that live around our lake, and it is a big lake, we're gonna make fires all around the lake. They're gonna be this media, newspapers, they're gonna um, shoot footage with drones and all that stuff, and I'm um, gonna raise awareness for this whole mining thing. Because everybody is scared that they will poison the lake, which will happen if they will dig. As you can see, it is. A little bit of snow out here. It's gonna be a very cold night. So, uh, <laughs> look at, I put the chickens inside. One of the chickens is here. One second, I have to move it real quick. Okay. So it's gonna be, it's going to be a very cold night. But we will be prepared and there will be big fires. It's much darker than it looks on the screen. I brighten it up for you guys to see. But it'll be completely dark. We'll take the four-wheeler halfway to the peninsula and then the rest we'll have to hike and then we'll see if we can see and spot some fires from there. So as you can see I'm here in the chicken stable. Um, they all squished in the corner back here because I'm sitting here. There's more room here with the camera standing and everything. Basically this um, I'm using the same systems that I've described in the previous year with all my poultry videos. The deep bedding, this is a foot and a half deep right now because I haven't taken the old bedding out but I've added uh, newer wood chips on top and as the season goes I'm going to add more wood shavings or bedding material on top. Wood shaving is what I like the most. You have the nesting boxes right here behind me. I have the water here that I can access from the outside. And so this deep bedding, it insulates the, the floor for me and it produces heat. I've dumped some water into the old bedding, so it's going to heat up. And um, then I'm putting in oats every morning and evening, a few handfuls. Then they scratch through it, dig through it and really work in all the manure. Um, these guys are really resting right now. They are uh, not laying many eggs at all. And um, this is normal. They're changing their feathers. They are, um, you know, getting used to the shorter days and all of that. So I'm really glad I have them in here, though. The stable was very warm this morning when I came in, when it was so cold outside. And I really like the setup. It's very easy for me to take care of them now, winter time, when I also need my rest to recover from this busy summer season. We try to go with the seasons and we really try to rest and recover now. So I've gotten rid of all the other heritage breeds and what I have here right now is pretty much just breast plus a few guys that are staying at my hotel here, at my chicken hotel. Uh, some friends um, gave them to me to take care of for a while but you know um, otherwise it's just the breast and um, I'm gonna, when they start laying more again, I'm gonna start breeding with them. I'm gonna see if there is a market and a niche for starting somewhat of a hatchery here. Um, because I've, like I explained in other videos, I've made more money um, selling live chicken and hatching eggs than I've made selling eggs themselves directly to the customer, even though I would love to do that. but. I was in need of a hatchery where I could have bought pullets that didn't exist, so I want to see if I can maybe meet that need a little bit. So this is one flock here and then I have another flock here, let me show you. So here I have my um, second bloodline, plus there are six roosters and four hens, uh, four pullets um, in the other stable still. 
And then I'm gonna put, um, gonna put completely fresh blood with all the eggs that I will hatch this year. So that bloodline, I, I'm gonna mix these two bloodlines and eventually import a new one, so um, that I can really start at zero and have super healthy chicks and fresh blood. That's the goal, and I'm super excited. So um, here you see I have the nesting boxes, and I can put stuff. From here I can access the water. Here are the oats that I can feed them and just throw them in there. And um, here's the water, where the water comes in. It's also covered in uh, thick, deep bedding, so it stays um, warm. It won't freeze at night. And then I have my uh, water outlet here, and I think with the chickens in here, it go, um, gets quite warm. And then you have the roosts over there where they're sitting. So, chickens having a lot of fun. I'm really glad I have them in here, and um, we're all set for the winter. Now the geese, the guard geese, are right now walking in the greenhouse. So that's quite funny too. But they have their space there. Highland cattle still on the pasture, going strong. our way to the peninsula it's super dark you can't see a thing and uh, there are so many trees blown over here it's uh, quite bad we have had a lot of strong wind lately and it seems like it all blew over we've already seen a few fires on we are a little bit late hopefully we'll get this let's go careful on don't be stupid. So people, what you can see there is the fire burning on the very tip of the peninsula. You can't see anything else here. And you can see fires all around the lake. Um, but my camera is too bad at night to actually show that. I hope the people will see my fire though.